Welcome. In the last video, I told you how to set up a blockchain inside a Kubernetes. Today, we're gonna set up your MetaMask and make the deploy of your first contract and interact with that. First of all, what you're gonna need is starting where we stopped last time, that is with our blockchain running. If you need more information about that and how to set up that, you didn't saw the last video, please go back and watch that. Let's check if our blockchain is running. So let's full out our port from our monitor. We put in the port of 3001 and as you guys can see, our monitor is running, our blocks are being mined. What we need to do, first of all, is install the MetaMask. What is the MetaMask? It's a simple wallet. Search on Google MetaMask, right? We should arrive here. It is this uh, cool fox? And when you enter here, it's very simple to install. Okay, guys, just click and download for the Chrome. That if you are using Chrome, I highly recommend it. And then you just need to click to add on your extensions. You will add this on your extensions. And after add that on your extensions, you will arrive at this page here. And let's just agree with the MetaMask, create a new wallet. Just agree here. Uh, you guys can put more secure password. I will just put a very simple one, one to nine. So it's very, 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 very weak password. Let's put again. So, okay. And I will ask to remind me later about the security and stuff like that. Please, guys, who want the security or wallet is highly recommended. And here we are now inside our MetaMask, right? But when you are in MetaMask, what you're gonna do is interact with our network. So, how you need to do that? First of all, let's fill out the port from our full node, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is a uh, port forward as well, a uh, kubectl port forward, but I will forward the port from our node. So to do that, I will forward the port from the service, the full node, 01, and then 8545 is the RPC port for our node. After you forward that, you just need to go here, add network, add network manually, and what we're gonna do is I will give a cool name for our network that is block cube and then we need to put the URL so for me it will be like HTTP local host 8545 since we are for the port the chain ID if you guys don't know how to choose the chain ID or what you set up just go to our code and inside our code we should have here in the folders as you guys can see the kubernetes folder inside kubernetes folder we should have the genesis json and here you have your chain id okay so just select that and put it here the currency symbol from your coin could be whatever you want i will put like cube to we talking about cubes and our explorer i will set up as a local host 3000 okay Great. So now we can switch to our network. But as you guys can see, we don't have nothing. We don't have coins here in this network. So how we can interact with the blockchain if we don't have coins? Guys, it's very simple. I separated something for you guys in our repository. So you just need to click it here. Click it, add account or hardware wallet. Here you need to import account and you should choose JSON file. After you choose that, you just go and choose file, go to our project, okay? We are here in our project and the block queue. Then you just need to create an Kubernetes. After Kubernetes, go to the key store and import this one here, 1E25, okay? Should be the first one. The password is 123, guys. After this, click on import, and as you guys can see, now we have money. We have a lot of money. That is cool. Let's go now to what is important, sending a smart contract to our blockchain. How you do that? To go to the remix.ethereum.org. What is that? It's an IDE on your browser that you can use to set up and code your smart contracts and interact with networks like blockchains and deploy them. 
uh, it's much more than that you guys can explore a little later or if you guys wanted me to build something around that or explain in more details the IDE just uh, let me know send in the comments but what you need to do right now I want you guys see here that you are in a workspace you should have and this one that's the full and you have contracts scripts and tests I'll not go inside just let click the contracts and the storage one and as you guys can see very simple explaining the smart contract structure what you have here is your contract it's like a class right and here you should have like the pragma solidity that shows from the versions that you accepted the version from IBM uh, the Ethereum virtual machine for the purpose of our network first of all I will remove this that is the doc block and here I will put the version the 080 okay and then you just need to go to your compiler change it here the compiler version I will select the compiler 810 and I will compile our code here to transform this code and byte code. Byte code is what run inside Ethereum virtual machine. If you guys work with compile languages, you know what I'm talking about. And then you just need to make the deployment, go to the other tab here that is deploy run transactions. You just need to change it here, your environment. Click in the inject provider that is MetaMask you guys should hear appearing a uh, pop-up this pop-up will ask to you which wallet you want to use to make the deploy or to connect with the metamask so i'll choose the one that have more cubes right so i'll accept it connected they will connect that cool. now we have that connected what we can do is just make the deployment so to make the deploy guys just click deploy you guys can see the metamask window appears again why because the metamask needs to pay for this transaction to send your smart contract to the blockchain network right and as you guys can see metamask they estimated everything and that's automatic because the blockchain itself gives us all this information so just hit up confirm you should see here and the terminal of the metamask creation the contract and as you guys can see our contract was created very cool right and as you guys can see here on the side we have here pinet transaction chain ig 600 deployed and unpinned contracts are here our contract this is the contract that was sent to the network what the contract does it stores a simple number and retrieve that number let's interact it here i'll send a 50 here to store in our blockchain as you guys can see we need to pay again this transaction why because we are writing in the blockchain and then i will hit confirm okay the transaction here is pending okay good transaction is sent that was right that if i click and the retrieve as you guys can see i call the smart contract and the retrieve and here it is we have this 50 okay guys so that was very simple very fast tutorial i hope you guys have liked it thank you very much hide the subscribe button to i know that you guys are liking and that really helped you and see you soon bye